Good morning, friends. Stephen Benin here with Israeli News Live. It is January the 4th, 2025, and uh, I'm watching things happen that are happening at such an alarming rate right now that is really making me wonder what's really going on. Uh, I did a special report on Patreon uh, a few days ago about <clears throat> the tidal waves uh, that were hitting both California coast uh, and uh, uh, down in Peru. There's the one on the California coast destroyed that pier right there that's designed to be able to handle a lot of strong waves uh, than this one here hitting down in Peru. And, uh, and then I backed it up in that story there showing you how that in this article right here, uh, underwater volcano off U.S. West Coast is primed to erupt in 2025. It showed how that there were rises in the ocean floor already going back in uh, last year in December, etc. Seeming to be obviously what may be prompting this volcano to get ready to go off. Uh, and then I saw <clears throat> this one here. Rosa sent this to me this morning. <clears throat> now watch this. This is an earthquake, uh, and this is in the Chinese province there. Uh, Join me as I dive into Yang the Ning. of the devastating earthquake that just hit Yangning County in Yichuan, China, and see if I can uncover the real impact and of the by the way, this earthquake right here is supposedly uh, is supposedly uh, only 4.6 or 4.9, but the earth opens up everything, uh, split uh, part of that city in two. Uh, just watch it. I mean, it's like crazy. The, the you know everything just ripping apart. And they call that a 4.6. Uh, and look at the ground. You can see it like a wave moving there. And, uh, and I'm going to go deeper into this on Patreon tomorrow. I'm going to do a special uh, about this. And mainly because we're really starting to see some signs that may very well be pointing to the arrival of Planet X. Um, then we have this one here in Chile. Uh, and uh, it also, you know, look at that. You're in, you're in a high rise, and the thing is just shaking like it's no big deal. And what's disturbing is uh, Farada, the Chilean astronomer who passed away a, a number of years ago, there that predicted three epicenters that would be triggered just before the coming of this binary system as it comes through. And, uh, you know, it's just, and, and they're calling these <coughs> earthquakes just like they're no big deal, like they're, oh, they're just small. Let me go further into this video as well, you know. And again, this, <coughs> no, the funny thing is this one here is considered a higher rating than the one that hit over in China. And yet it doesn't do near the damage, but it still does tremendous amount of damage. And of course, they're still calling them in the four-point range. I was in a 4.6 earthquake in California, in Los Angeles, uh, many, many years ago. Uh, back, I guess, it was in the 90s uh, when that happened. And maybe the early 2000s. I don't remember the, when it actually took place. I think it was in the 90s, though. And... And just like the couch felt like it was sliding across the floor. Otherwise, you didn't realize anything was happening. Nothing, nothing compared to what these people here are facing. I mean, look, go back to China. Look at this earthquake here. Look at, look at what this thing is doing. You know? I mean, look at this. And, and then they call that a four-point-something earthquake. I mean... I want to do a Paul Bagley, right? Are you serious? Come on. Then this is it, this is insulting to the intelligence of humanity. Look at look at that. Look at the house. You know, that's absurd. They're lying to people because I guess they just don't want to cause public panic of what's really happening. All right. Now, 
Let me take you though, let's, uh, on the earthquake issue here, let me take you over here to, let's see, oh by the way, here we go right here, right? These are some of the China earthquake reports that they had here this several last several days, all right? 4.9 really being the high, highest there, 4.6, 4.6, 2.5, 3.4, 5.0, 5 .0. here we go, just had a new one just came in. Uh, I mean, how, how stupid do they think people really are? I mean, they really think you're that, they think you're that gullible, that stupid, right? Now here we had, they called this one in California 7.1. Remember the bridges collapsed, things like that. Uh, my uncle lived there when this happened. The Anwar fell over on the bed and nearly killed him. Um, you know, crazy, crazy things that happen. And this is the type of magnitude they're dealing with there. And do I really believe that the California earthquake was only 7.1? No, not at all. I believe it was definitely eight or, or higher. Then they lowered it down to 6.4. What are they trying to do? They're trying to prime us so that we don't believe anything that might really come, come into fruition. And then, of course, right, here's the funny thing. When I did the Patreon report, I was talking about the ground moving under the oceans and stuff like that, right? And, and then and I said, they're trying to say, oh, the winds are causing these tidal waves. Suddenly, Chile and California and all the coast on the, on the west of the United States were getting these tidal waves coming in, 20 foot tall tidal waves. Um, is, or actually, I think it's like 19, 18 or 19 feet is what they were saying they were. And, and I'm sitting there thinking to myself, you guys think this is just caused from winds. I mean, granted, winds can cause some very big waves, right? But even record surfers are talking about record waves up to 90 feet high waves. California high waves, right? dozens of feet tall, destroyed That's a wharf and dozens. Center, sending workers. She said dozens of feet tall. 24 foot then maybe and debris into the water at least one person was killed elsewhere by wreckage that and nobody ashore, and the danger of the coast remains at least Preston has our report I don't think about an hour south of San Francisco yellow police tape sealed off the Santa Cruz Wharf Monday there it is under intense waves caused parts of it to collapse and send debris there it is <laughs> what you just saw that beautiful pier there it is now one guy, and, and I still haven't seen a video yet that showed the wave actually coming in that did this, and I'm sure that they've probably got them now, right? This is, this is your before, and this is your after. Before and after. I mean, what, what are they not telling people? Uh, and then now suddenly, now, uh, you know, now down and uh, we have uh, down, you know, the this was uh, that's the Santa Cruz. All right, so let's real quick uh, go back to do to do to do this one here. This is off Chile and Peru, the the tidal waves there, right? And then we had the Chile powerful earthquake splits uh, giant bridge in Chile houses collapse, etc. Uh, let me just see what all they got in there. It's essential that we take a closer look at what happened and we spoke to those in need. But it's you know, and limited so, access to affected areas. So they're talking about, oh, oh gosh, high winds, but all these strange earthquakes are happening as well that they're making it look like, oh, they're little tiny ones. I don't think they really want you to know that probably here in China was like 7.5 or 8.0 type earthquake. You just don't have buildings shake like that there in a 4.6. I know, I was in a 4.6 earthquake. And literally, I remember my uncle, because I actually prayed about it. I said, oh God, you know, I'm, I'm, this is nutty, nutty prayer, right? I said, you know, I've been in every natural disaster you can think of. I mean, I've been blown up, I've been in floods, I've been in... I was in Hurricane Camille as a little boy at nearly 200 mile an hour winds. Uh, uh, you know, you, you name it, tornadoes, been in a tornado, had, had literally as a tornado came through, ripped up a white oak tree, massive white oak tree, threw it on my house. 
uh, and uh, knock you. In fact, the neighbor called, told the told the 911 people that everyone in my house was dead. So, you know, I mean, that's how crazy that was, right? Uh, but I asked him. I said, Lord, I said I would like to be in an earthquake, not too big. And I'm thinking, I was actually thinking like five point something, right? And then, it, and then I thought, no. I said, Lord, I was driving in Oregon, by the way, at the time. I said, maybe a four point six. Or no, or four point. I think I said four. Yeah, I think I even said four point six, something like that, right? And so when the my dad, my stepdad is, is his brother, you know, and and, the, and I heard him screaming, and I saw him, my cousin, he's a dentist, and uh, I come running back in there to see. No, I'm sorry, chiropractor, not a dentist, chiropractor. And as I came back in, I'm like, Dad, what's happening? Look, look, the ground is literally splitting right before your eyes in that last clip right there. Let me, let me back that up for you so you can see that as it just kind of plays here. But anyway, um, <clears throat> my uncle knew right where to, to tune in at. And I sit down on the couch with my dad and I can feel it like it's sliding on the floor. And uh, there it is. Look at the ground split as the guy follows it. So the thing is, is I, I said to my dad, uh, or my uncle, I said, where's the epicenter? And he has it on the news. He knew right which channel to go to watch it and stuff like that. And uh, my uncle said, my neighborhood is the epicenter. Uh, so I thought that was kind of fascinating. But that was 4.6, right? Nothing. A little, a little shaking, but nothing like what these people went through. Nothing that makes you run out of the house for safety because of your fear for your life. Nothing like what you're seeing there, huge stones and everything just moving around like with no big, big problem. Nothing like what you see in these images here. And of course, he was in the Los Angeles earthquake. So I'm going to go into this. Uh, we'll do it over on Patreon there. Um, so definitely come join, join Patreon, be a member there. Love to have you. Um, because I think it's getting serious. And I think that they're really starting to downplay things as it comes closer and closer to that time. Uh, I'll be looking at ancient documents, everything. There's all kinds of documentation about that this would happen and it would happen again. Uh, you know, I, I, and listen, listen, I'm not, this is not going to be one of those fear things either, you know. I've learned now from everything that's happened in the past there, uh, you're a little bit premature, whatever might happen. It doesn't matter. If you're in Christ, what, what, what do you have to worry about? Nothing. Nothing matters. All right? So it's nothing you have to fear or worry about. But, um, but we may go on a very interesting roller coaster ride. In fact, I'll even share with you one of the uh, documents there that I read. I think it was in Nag Hammadi and everything that he talks about hiding you away when all this comes. Hmm. That's what I think a lot of people talk about when they think about a rapture. So, what do you know? Stephen Burnett with Israeli News Live. God bless you, and thank you for listening.